The 29th year of Camp Bluebird kicked off this morning at Paul B. Johnson State Park. Fox 23's Alyssa Coles spoke to cancer patients and survivors about their retreat and recovery. After a while, it's a disease that has become all too common. Cancer is so prevalent with every family and it touches so many others. In the late 1980s, Ed Davis founded Camp Bluebird. Everybody that's been here loves it. Uh, I've been coming back for 29 years now and uh, it's been a great undertaking. It's the first camp for cancer patients and survivors in Mississippi. My tumor is in my sciatic notch, so it's it's very painful in my hip and, and sometimes I limp around and everything. Sometimes I, I don't even want to walk. Campers like Don Nonamaker and Pamela Bloom come to Bluebird for fellowship. I felt better talking to somebody that had been through it. You know, everybody in my family, I could talk to them, but if you haven't been through it, they really don't know what you're feeling or what you're going through. Alex Wade, who was cancer free, volunteers to help campers rest and relax. I came to Camp Bluebird because when I was younger, my mom was diagnosed with cancer, and so it's really important for me to like help give back. Beautiful day. But campers like Nana Maker can't rest for long. She says her job is to make her friends feel good. If I'm feeling down and out, it makes me feel better if I could put a smile on my face and see somebody else smile. She says Bluebird is the one place where everyone is family. It's always nice to have some place to come where you don't have to think about being a cancer victim or a cancer survivor. You just live and, and everybody knows how you feel. Alyssa Cole, Fox 23 News. The camp gives people an opportunity to learn how to live with cancer and cancer treatments.